my gym sport bag Where I bag a lot of cuts in my gym sport bag I ain't brought a lot of books Got involved with a girl, she ain't hit me for no reason So I ain't that girl, I ain't hit her for no reason yeah. Alien in my cup yeah, probably put your family in this blind, I don't care If you had a heart, it'd be shaped just like me Alright, y'all, welcome to the video It's Fruit by the 6 foot 5 You, welcome to the video um, Today, you know, I'm doing a little um, This was a little experiment dinner that I had It was a whole 16 ounce bag of pasta Whole grain pasta And you know, I've been mainly on fruits and vegetables for a while now. So like when I when I have cooked foods, I tend to hit the wall. So I ate the whole bag. For those of you all who eat pasta, you know that's a lot of pasta, the whole 16 ounce bag. So this is my experience with that. You know, I had this little knee injury, um, but I just had the pasta and then I had this vegan Alfredo sauce um, to the bottom right that y'all could see. So yeah, I'll let y'all know how the experience was. I ate the whole thing in one sitting. Like you. Yeah. First. I don't see no fruit in it though. Where's the fruit at? Can't be mixing. Can't be mixing the fruit. Can't be mixing the highers with the lows. Avocado is fruit. We'll clean that shit out. Oh, that's fucking true. Yeah, bro. I'm fucking fiending. This is what it looks like when you fucking have an eating problem. <laughs> Scraping fucking Alfredo from the pan. King Fredo. Fruit Fredo. Buddha, sit. Stay. 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 Go. All right, so I didn't show you guys all of the pasta that I ate, but it ended up being a 16 ounce, a whole bag, a whole 16 ounce bag of uh, spiral pasta. Bomb. But for those of you who know and eat pasta, 16 ounces, a uh, whole that's a super huge portion. Like usually people only have like four ounces or like eight if you're really hungry. I had 16. So, um, you know, immediately afterwards, after I was done with it, you know, toward the end of it, I was starting to get like hot flashes and stuff in my cheeks and stuff. Like just, my body was like, yo, this is too much. But um, toward the end of it, you know, I was just like, damn, man, this is way too much. And I was like, oh, I made a mistake. But my the the problem was I was like, man, I don't want to put this in the fridge because I don't want this later. I like want to like get off of it. And that's what I need to work on in my diet is incorp slowly incorporating better foods, better than pasta. I should have done like quinoa or something like that. But that is a problem that I'm having. I'll go so long on like fruits and like light vegetables and green leaves that then when I do have cooked food, I just hit the wall. Like earlier that day, I had my very first vegan meal on the street and it was from a vegan food truck and I had a bite of that and it was game over because I was just like, oh man, now, I, now I'm going to fucking binge and I have this knee injury. So I was like, okay, I'll just, yeah, I, I use that as an excuse. I'll just binge and the calories will help my knee heal. But in reality, we know that's not how the human body works. So <clears throat> um, I was, I literally passed out like 10 minutes after I had the pasta because every, every energy cell in my body was just like, yo, we got to digest this. Um, wasn't even chewing it because I was just trying to get it over with because I was trying to be done eating by seven. I started it at like six. Um, but yeah, so that's the thing, man. It's like, it was amazing, but I have to have more moderation. And that's what we got to realize with our diets and our lifestyles, y'all. It's like, you can't just like deprive yourself and be like, nah, nah, I'm not going to have all that shit, all that shit. Because then your body does hit the wall and it's like, okay, motherfucker, you've been depriving us. Now we're going to take all that shit. And then you just feel like shit the next morning. And it took me like two days to like defecate it all out, <clears throat> which is a big deal, man. And I'm trying to put on weight. So it's like, it's not the best thing to do. So I'm slowly incorporating, you know, um, you know, like rice, quinoa, you know, there's still mucousy foods and you can see, man, like a month ago, two months ago, like I, my facial features were bone thin and I had like a lot of um, definition in my face. And now you can see like this is, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting pudgy and I'm not, I'm still underweight severely, but you can see like these foods, what they do to your face. So like, take me as an example, y'all, this shit's real. Like, look at my face, it's getting pudgy. This, what do you think that is? It's, it's a mix between water and mucus. Um, so yeah, that's my overall uh, 
you know, experience with this whole pasta thing. And uh, yeah, man, it's free by the six foot five. If you want to support me, make a one time donation or a monthly donation to my Patreon. The link is down below. If you want to get some cool Smeek Squad gear, SmeekSquad.com. The link is down below. The message behind that is down below. I'm going to incorporate a lot more vegan stuff with Smeek this year and uh, just get on my grind with Smeek as well. And if you want to listen to my music, the SoundCloud the link is down below. Love y'all. Hate y'all. It's a balance. Let's go, man. Today is December 15th. Or not December. It's January 15th. Let's go.